How's it going, guys? My name is Hunter, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, if you remember the last video, uh, we just completed three more cups of 150cc. Uh, let's just recap real quick, because I don't remember. Okay, so uh, let's just go in here. Screw it. I was using uh, Yoshi last time. I switched it up. So we did the Moon Cup. We did Fruit Cup, and we did the Boomerang Cup, and that's where we left off in the last one. Um, and uh, I'm literally recording this right after the last one, so um, I'm still... Ah, never mind. Anyway, um... Should we get right into it? Nah, I gotta... I gotta... Let's do a different character. You know? Why not? I'm going back to my roots. From Mario Kart Wii. I don't think Dry Bones was a starting character. I think you unlocked him. But when I unlock Dry Bones, you best believe it's the only character that I used pretty much from the time that I unlocked him to the time I was done playing. Um, let's try and figure something out here. I need some speed. Speed, 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 speed. These have speed, but I don't want to use a bike. This is a lot of speed, but I don't think that that'd be good. I think we might just have to stick with this. I'm not used to someone so small, you know? I think he's giving me more speed. Technically, yes. I don't know if that actually helps me or not, though. I don't think it does, so I'm just gonna keep the Bowser. I like the Bowser one, so. Alright, so in this episode, we are finishing uh, 150cc. We're doing the last four cups. I'm gonna bang them all out. It's gonna be a long episode, so bear with me. Hang in there, but looking at this, we've got some bangers. So there's nothing to be worried about. It's gonna be fun. Let's get into it. Alright, we're in Athens for the tour cup. I did it again. Every episode I do this. The tour course for this cup is at Athens. Now, the last cup, there was actually two tour courses in one cup. But they were both pretty decent, so... I don't necessarily hate it. I haven't used a small character in a hot minute. I'm so used to using Metal Mario. And in the last episode, I used Yoshi. But... I haven't used... Small character like this in a long time, so I'm gonna feel very like. Oh my god! What the flip? Okay. Uh, interesting. I didn't understand that at all, honestly. Um, so in the last episode, and uh, keep in mind, like I said, I'm literally recording this right after the last episode, so I said I was half a beer deep. I want to explain that first of all. Um, actually, I should say this. Uh, if you're gonna drink, drink responsibly. I don't condone it, but you know, drink responsibly. I'm at home. I don't have anywhere to go. Hopefully, nothing terrible happens. I have to leave the house. But yeah. Um, anyway, I should explain myself. It's not an actual beer. Uh, it's a pint can of Smirnoff ice, and it's 8% alcohol, so, you know, it gets it, you know? Uh, I've finished it, i finished it at this point, first can, I have another can, but I don't have that yet, because I want to be able to finish this this video without, you know, slurring my words and just 
being incognizant. Um, anyway, I had a huge lead there, I didn't even realize. I was kind of on an autopilot there, just talking to you guys about my drinking problem. Don't worry, it's not actually a problem, I'm just joking, but... Um, I don't know. Uh, 6 out of 10, probably. It was okay, that, that mountain gliding part was confusing, so... I'm docking a point from here, so I'd probably get a 7. Next. Daisy Cruiser. Um, I don't know if I've ever played this. I think I have. I don't know what I played this on. Though. Anyways. Um, so back to what I was saying. Just a second ago. Uh, something new in my life. Since I... Quote unquote, quit making videos. Is, um... I turned 21 in May, so uh, happy 21st to me, I guess. You can leave your very, very belated birthday wishes down in the comments if you so wish. But, um, yeah, so I turned 21, had a little birthday party, a couple of my friends came along, we went go karting, and had my first drink out. Very expensive, it was like 12 bucks for a nice drink. Thanks, Joe Biden, I guess inflation and whatnot, but, um, yeah, so, the problem with drinking, though, that I've come to realize after I became a weekend drinker for the past month, is that, um, you start to put on weight pretty quick, because these drinks have a lot of calories, and if you drink enough to get drunk, which, you know, it's Kind of part of the point. I'm not saying like you should be coming out of work and uh, drink your life away or whatever, but it's kind of the point of drinking. Not. But the, the problem with it is that you put on a lot of weight. So I've been getting a little fluffy around the edges, I should say. And uh, since I lost my job. back when I was uh, still making videos. Uh, if you watch the video titled My Promise, you know what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna lose this, by the way. Um, I haven't had a gym membership in quite a, a while. What a shot. Did I just clutch that? I did. Wow. I don't know if I'll get it. Three stars for not. No, uh, three stars are not for that one, but um, I'm gonna give this one a seven, and I'm gonna continue talking about what I was just talking about. So uh, I haven't had a gym membership in a while, so I just uh, got a new gym membership and um, gotten back into the gym just a little bit. I haven't gone very consistently yet, but I'm trying to cut some of this fat off that I recently put on. Especially in my midsection, um, that seems to be where my body puts on weight the quickest. So that's where I've gotten a little bit fluffy, as I said. Anyways, um, what's this called? Greenview Highway, I believe. I remember all the time growing up as a kid playing this one too. I know I say this for the Wii course, but the Wii courses just strike me so fondly for some odd reason. I guess not odd, it's just the power of nostalgia. But um, I remember always running into cars because I was just so reckless. Oh my god. Speaking of running into cars. It's not a good thing to run into either. Wow. That was like... Could not have been any closer. I'm getting that, that green shell that just saved my life. I used to always run into cars in this map growing up as a kid. And, uh... Well, I was gonna say I've obviously gotten better, but... I still hit... A bomb car. Just, 
find it. Oh my god. Man, that actually didn't slow me down as much as I thought it would. I'm just gonna stop talking about it now because it seems to be cursing me. Just speaking of it. I love when that happens. Honestly, not even sarcastically. Also, so it looks like they're driving on the left side of the road. Which would make sense, obviously, because it's a Nintendo game. Nintendo, you know, is based in Japan, and Japan drives on the left side of the road, but I never noticed that as a kid, so maybe they changed it, but maybe I just never noticed it. Anyways, uh, 8 out of 10, another good one. Kind of brings it back to my childhood. I believe this is the last course in this cup. This is a new uh, course. I don't know if I've ever played this course before. Squeaky something something. Once again, um, not sure how this is going to go because, as we all know, new courses screw me up because I have no idea where I'm going. I've never done it before. Oh my god, I let that happen. That's my dumb fault for trying to save that mushroom for like a corner or something. Like right there would have been great for a mushroom, but oh my god, this is slippery. I hate that. I do appreciate the tile walls in the background though, with the, the clouds. Like old 8-bit Mario games. Um, what else can I talk about? I've been rambling a lot this video, but I'm trying to up my commentary game a little bit because in the the first video I released coming back it's probably been out for who knows maybe a couple days maybe a week I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading these videos how spaced out but um I was stumbling on my words a little bit I haven't you know well, I could have went up top I fucked up there I'm gonna get double hit. Don't mind, I get invincibility. How am I in second? Wario's cooking me, holy shit. Oh no, it's the strats. Up top is definitely the move, huh? Yeah, I should use this because... Let's see what I get here. Alright, come on, huh? Go up top. Let's see what's up here. I don't know what that is. White bulbs and bandages. Interesting. That's it. I should have went up there the last time, it seemed to be really good. Um, 7 out of 10? Not bad. It's a neat little course. hate the slippery section, but nah. What can you do? So anyway, what I was talking about. Um, in that first video that I released coming back, called My Promise, dot dot dot. The COD commentary, me explaining where I went, what not. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I explain everything past, present, future about the channel. And uh, kind of the direction that I plan to go in, in a little bit, not much. I've kind of been, you know, keeping it secretive just because I like to surprise you guys. Um... But I realized, even while I was recording the video, I was like, man, I'm struggling to like find the words to say. And I know it's a hard video to make anyway, but even still, like, 
I lost some of that rambly commentary vein that I had before when I was making content all the time. But now that I'm playing Mario Kart, I feel back in my zone. Um, anyway, screw that. We're in LA, so this should be a dumpster fire, probably. I know LA is like a big city, but does it really deserve this type of treatment from Nintendo? Not really. That's a good skip right there. I've never seen one. Double, I'll get a coin, hopefully I get a coin. Nah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, take the banana first then. Hopefully I can finish the first lap without having to use this. Didn't realize that I needed a mushroom for that. Item. Bomb is not that want. Look like I get a different item to the coin here. Uh, screw you. Bombs do not stop it either. Good to know. Oh, this is a uh, segmented track instead of a. Three lap track. Interesting. It still sucks. As a city, I guess. Not as a track, but. LA doesn't deserve it. LA's full of a bunch of weird people, and. The people who. I guess, like. The mayor of LA and you know, the governor of California kind of suck. You don't ever get anything good done. They just you know, whatever. I won't get political. This is a Mario Kart video. What are we doing here? Um, I'll give it a six. It's you know another tour track. Next, Sunset Wilds. I have raced on this one before. Not sure if I was on the. It was probably on here. I don't know when I would have raced it, but I've definitely raced this track before. And it sucks. I probably did it online. So there's like these big puddles in the middle of most of the track. I believe this says there's a Game Boy thing. Is there a Game Boy track? There's freaking Shy Guy minor things all in the middle of the track. There's a whole bunch of nonsense going on on this one. I'm gonna try and collect coins. Man, I'm doing lots of stuff. By the time that I actually unlock anything meaningful, I'll be done with the entire Grand Prix this whole game. I mean, my goodness. I believe the last uh, thing I got, that glider that I just got, I know the person one was 850 in coins. I don't know what the, how much you need to unlock everything, but I think every 50 or 100 coins or something is a new one, so I just keep gathering as many coins as I can. For the sake of hopefully using something new. Alright, so 150 on this track wasn't so bad. But I think I raced this on 200 before, which is where I got smoked. But uh, if you look at the mini map down on the bottom right, 
I'm way, 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 way ahead of you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Six again? It wasn't that interesting, to be honest with you. Next. Now this one. So we track. You know how I feel. This track was really popular. This was one of the, like, big, big tracks. When I was... I remember this... What am I saying, man? Um... I remember this track on the Wii. This one really sticks out. I mean, this was like... A showcase of everything that we could do. You have the... The water, which makes you go faster. You've got the tunnel and the underwater section. You've got half pipes. Like that one. Um, and this one. How much I got past me? God. Um. But yeah, this, this is a classic for me. This is very nostalgic. And I even take the half pipes just because, like, that's why I did as good. I'm so used to doing that, but that's just my my way of playing. This. I've got a lot of coins so far on this one, so please give me an item here. Screw you. Last lap on the on this cup, I think. Oh, I might be wrong actually. I might be one more. Lap. One more course on this one. I'm jumping the gun though, I believe. But uh, whatever. Turning up on this one. Shy guy is really keeping up though. I'm gonna give it to him. Why did I do that? Okay. Easy. I'm giving... What is this one called? Koopa Cape? I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. Next. Alright, yeah, I was right. So, this one has two tour cups. I said it again. Two tour courses. This one's Vancouver Velocity. I've played this one before. And, uh... From what I remember, it's okay. I didn't get a boost there. I'm trash. I was taking a drink of water. Okay. Screwed up. Anyway. Um... So if you guys saw in the, uh, in the loading screen of this one, there's a little hockey ring. Pretty cool. Um, speaking of hockey, I recently, and recently meaning like literally this weekend recently, got into hockey a little bit. Um, for those of you who don't know. Stanley Cup Final was, you know, probably over the past week and a half, two weeks. Um, and the Florida Panthers went up three to nothing. They won three games in a row against the Edmonton Oilers. And then the Edmonton Oilers came back and won the next three games, which is... For those of you who don't know, in sports, that's very rare to uh, 
trade games like that. So, the Oilers won the next three games. And it went to a game seven, which is the last game. It's a best of seven. And it came down to the last game. I watched the last two games. And uh, I got into it because, you know, it's very rare that a team goes down, goes up 3 nothing, and loses in the final. So, I wanted to see it just in case, you know, history happened. I wanted to be there and, you know, witness it with my own eyes. But, of course, you know, last night was the, last night as I'm recording this video, it was uh, Monday the 23rd, I believe. It was uh, Game 7. And uh, Florida Panthers won. And they won the whole thing. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to witness anything really interesting happen. But, um, so yeah, I got into hockey a little bit recently. And I think I'm going to... Continue that next season when hockey comes back around in October, I believe. Anyways, uh, this track, I talked about hockey the whole time, so I mean, it wasn't really that interesting, I guess. But, um, six again. Seven. I'll give it a seven. Screw it. No doubt in my mind, three starred this one. I smoked everyone basically at the time. I Lost the lead a little bit, but easy. Nothing too crazy there. Alright. I believe there's two more cups in 150cc that we haven't done yet. And that will mark a th third of the way through. That hurts, just to say, to be honest with you. Um, so here's the deal. Actually, I'll, I'll wait until the end to talk about that. Let's just get into it. Alright, we've got the Acorn Cup, the first course in the cup. I said it right that time. Always a tour cup. I think that's what it was for every DLC cup, all 12 of them. And I believe this said Rome. If I remember correctly. I honestly don't. But I don't remember what it said, but I believe it said Rome, so that's what I'm gonna go with. This looks like could be the Rome Coliseum. Maybe. Okay, I see the little shortcut on right there. I don't have a mushroom for that though. a great start. S by the way, did we not just unlock anything there? I just wanted to do a new cup, and I didn't unlock anything. I really did. Oh, shoot. I'm done. I'm following around the people that are way behind me in last place. Alright. There's a blue shell coming. Hopefully oh, okay. There's my banana. I gotta pull this out. I know it's gonna get taken away from me if I do. of Drive Browser. So I think what happens is, and actually I know this is what happens, but at least it definitely used to. I don't know if it still does or not, but if the, depending on who you pick is the person that competes with you, the, the best AI, I should say. Like, so because I picked Drive Browser, I think Dry Bowser is going to be the one that competes with me this entire video. But like, 
if you remember the last video, I picked Yoshi. And Toad was the one that kept up with me for the most part. So, I don't know. That's kind of a weird connection to Yoshi and Toad, but I, the Dry Bones, Dry Bowser makes sense to me. Um, six again, honestly. I feel like I've said six like five times in this video already, but yeah, six. Now, DK Mountain. Ooh. This is a classic. I've played this before somewhere. Don't ask me where. I don't know. It might have actually been this DK Mountain specifically. I'm not sure. But... Anyways, here we are. DK Mountain's a very classic. I believe this one came out on the Game Boy side too. There's so many good games. There's so many good courses from the, the Game Boy that came out. They redid them in a different game. And they were still good. Because I've never played the Game Boy with Mario Kart Double Dash. Which was the Game Boy game. And... Or I've... I've been saying Game Boy this whole time. It's my GameCube. Um... I've never played the GameCube version. I've never played the Game Boy version either, but... So many GameCube games that came out that were good, that got remastered, that I played on a different game. I've never actually played Double Dash. And the problem is, I don't remember if Game Boy games are on the Nintendo Online. System emulator things or not. But, if Double Dash is on there, if the GameCube is even one of the game, like one of the systems that, it, that you can play on, I might have to play it. Just to experience what it, like all these tracks in their original form, which is. Holy shit, by the way. Um. Whew. I'm just fell. Because there's so many, uh, classic GameCube games that. Or, I keep saying that. Classic GameCube courses that I've never played in the original version of, so. I don't know if you'd like to see that. I'm probably gonna do it whether you say you like to see that or not, but. Let me know what you think anyway. In the comments, anyway. Those turns at the end are tough. On 200, that's gonna be brutal. I'm gonna be breaking very hard. I'm giving that one uh, maybe a seven. Excuse me for yawning. Daisy Circuit. There's a shortcut in this one up inside of a building. And I bet nowadays there's a glider ramp at top, on the top, but it should just be a small like staircase that would just lead to the top of the building and you would ramp out the other side. It's right here. And it is, as I predicted, a glider ramp. I should have said that. Uh, actually, I don't think there's any ways to cut corners on this map because everything is on a curb so you can't actually cut any corners here but... alright 
So I'm not gonna go back up there. Just because I don't have the mushroom. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed. But. These last couple of cups have been loaded with weak horses. So I'm not sure if, like. I don't, I don't know what the thought process was. I don't mind it, of course, but... God. I wish I was paying more attention when the DLC actually was still coming out. Because I would like to know, like, what the community's thought process was when they were releasing these DLCs. Inside there. Just hit the first boost. Uh, was that third course? Yeah. I'm gonna give Daisy Circuit an 8 out of 10. Next. Okay. Piranha Plant Cove. New course again. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. It seems like a half underwater, half not course. So it looks like it possibly goes back there. Slater? No, I don't know. Okay. I think I've played on this one before as well. It just seems like the DLC. Since I've played on this one before, I'm gonna assume it was online. And it's. That goes to tell me that, like. The later on DLCs were much better received than the first ones were. So I'll put this out behind me just in case. That's really annoying. Bowser, Dry Bowser are in there. Oh, trick spots there. Is this the same? I don't think this is the same. I think this changed. This definitely changed. Make this help. Okay, I've been underwater for a long time now. Good thing Dry Bones is already dead because he would have suffocated under the water by now. I guess I should say drowned. Not imply the same thing as found. We are on a fucking roll, baby. And hopefully, this just turns onto the finish line again. It looks like it does, so I'm gonna kill this one. Too easy. One more cup to go. And I. Still perfect on the day. Keep in mind I recorded the last two episodes, this one and the last one. And I have not gotten a second place yet. Knock on wood. So we're gonna cruise through this. This is a three star. No doubt about it. And we unlock something new. Yippee Hopefully it's a cart. It's probably gonna be wheels. I haven't unlocked wheels in a long time. It's a cart. It's nothing good though. 
I believe the bad wagon was in where are we? It's Wario's jaunt. Alright, let's finish this out. Hopefully the last, I believe this is the last tour cup. Tour course. Hunter, please, for fuck's sake. Well, I won't have to say it for a little bit. So. Madrid. Um, I just want to say, if you're still here, if you're still watching, I know this is a long episode, but uh, I appreciate you. Uh, you're a real one. If you're not subscribed already, and you're still watching, you might as well subscribe. You've been here for probably 40 ish minutes already and uh you're obviously enjoying the content so you might as well just subscribe go watch some other videos too this is your first one um and anyone who's here who's been along for this entire journey this is the last cup that I haven't played yet 150cc which means after this, when I go back through on Mirror Cup, or Mirror Mode, and I go back through on 200cc, it's gonna be repeats. So, this is kind of like a, uh, last hurrah for the time being. So, um, I want to thank everybody for coming along on this journey with me. I know it's not the end of this cup yet, but... I just want to say thank you anyway. Um, and here's the hoping that I don't screw up at the end here, because that would suck having to go back through this all, like, maybe... Especially if I decided to screw up on the last course, which, you know, happens to be Rainbow Road from the Wii. So... Hopefully I don't screw up. And fall off a bunch of times, but you never know. Another blue shell coming. This cup is starting off interesting, to say the least. Getting hit a lot, but I'm not seeing anyone, so I'm doing well enough to not be affected. A little soccer. Stadium there for all my international people watching. Football stadium. Football stadium. However you like to say it. Uh, still gonna give it a six though, just like all the other tour ones pretty much. Except for a couple. Let's move on. Rosalina's Ice World. I've played on this course many, many, many times. It's on the 3DS. When it originally came out. It's on tour. I'm almost positive. Uh, so I've played it on there before. Yes, I have played tour before. Uh, I used to play it before I had a Switch. To play uh, Mario Kart with my buddies. Plus, only one of my friends has a Switch anyway, so... Gotta get my boys on there. Actually, I think two of them have a Switch, but... Only one of them has Nintendo Online. Yeah, I've played this course a lot, so I should know what I'm doing here. Here comes a blue shell already. What the hell? Just come and catch a break. I miss some slacking. Little pink drift. That gets impossible to jump onto. No, looks like a mushroom.
Let's see if this... Oh, that's slow. Because it slows you down. I didn't know it slowed you down. Doesn't look like something that would slow me down, but... Oh well. See, the courses I know... I dominate. Because... I know what I'm doing, I know which that's ingrained in my mind where I need to go. I never noticed in the back you can see the one Super Mario Galaxy. This the Super Mario Galaxy worlds in the back. I don't know if you see that, the little spinnings. You know, playing it there. That's cool. And also the, um... Planet Observatory, I think it's called. Super Mario Galaxy. That's cool. Anyways. Um, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I like it. Only two more courses to go and the second to last one is bowser castle 3 og that they turned into a fucking badass course honestly i would love i really like this course the music is sick the visuals are sick there's a volcano in the back there's like lava walls that you just saw this like lava ramp looking thing it's also cool and that's happened before that's enough. So now I have to absolutely destroy everything in my hand. Because that's obnoxious. Maybe I should have been using dry bones this whole time because I seem to be doing really well with them. I mean, I'm ahead of the pack 90% of the time. Like, way ahead of the pack. I mean. Trick off that. Coins. Blue shell. Of course. Double red shells. Triple red shells. Okay, hang on. Toad is on my ass a little bit here. No longer is Toad on my ass at all. Cruising and finish. Very easy. I was expecting that to go kind of bad after what happened at the beginning there, but I smoked it. I'm giving Bowser Castle 3 a 9 out of 10. They really made it a lot better than it used to be. Kudos to Nintendo for that one. And this is it. The final course in the DLC of Super Mario Kart. I guess it's not Super. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. On the Nintendo Switch. And what better course than Wii Rainbow Road. Of course, many of us grew up playing as kids falling off the track tons and tons of times and burning up in the atmosphere the 
music is just just like I remember. The course is just like I remember. These like crazy half pipe jumps are like, like exhilarating to, to jump off of. Because you never know when you're gonna fall. It's it's a risk reward type of situation. I don't know. But, uh, This is just a classic. Hopefully I smoke this and don't get screwed or fall off or anything like that. I feel like as long as I don't fall off the map at all, I should be okay. I want to do this the way I did it the last time. Like, it's the best route. So I guess while I'm here, um, I just want to kind of let you know what's going to happen to this series. So uh, I'm going to take a little, I know I just came back, but I'm going to take a little break from doing Grand Prix. I'm not going to take a break from Mario Kart in general. Um, there's a couple options for me to do here with Mario Kart. Option number one, do a grind on all my and, uh, you know, play some, play the same, you know, game, and just grind an RP or whatever it's called online against real people and get my ass kicked because these guys don't ever get off the fucking game. Option number two, I go back and play some old Mario Kart games for a little bit, drop a couple videos, maybe play as many as I can. We won't, probably won't be there, but, um, you know, some of the original games, and as many as I can play, not the DS ones either, but if I can get a hold of a V1, I'll play that one, but, um, so those are the two options, um, if you're still watching, this is important, leave a comment down below, which one you would rather see me do. I will come back to the Grand Prix after a little bit. I'm just gonna make a couple videos, like four or five of grinding online or playing old Mario Kart games. I'm just gonna do a one-off for each game that I can play, maybe two, depending. But um, let me know which one you would rather see. I'm gonna let this, Play out a little bit, I guess. Can I skip this? No, I cannot. Alright, well. Um, I'll see you at the end of this, and I'll finish the video off. Alright, boys. Girls. Aliens. Anyone. Watching this. been a fun ride so far and uh, we have put 150 cc every cup according to DLC into the dirt uh, let's see what we unlocked Some wheels so I couldn't care less That's what they have. back to the leaf wheels alright Alright, so that's going to do it for this one. Like I said, I'm putting a pause on this series, just for a while. Just to, and I know I just took a fucking two and a half month break from making videos, but um, I want to record some other stuff for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be taking a break from Mario Kart in general, but I will be taking a break from Mario Kart 8. Deluxe, Grand Prix, 
And then, you know, eventually, I'll be doing the mirror cup, the mirror modes. I'll do all the cups on mirror. And I'll do all the cups on 200cc. But between mirror and 200cc, I'll probably take another short break. In a couple weeks, maybe. Um, thanks for sticking around for this long episode. I know I'm rambling on here. I'm going to try and keep it quick. But uh, thank you for watching this series so far. Um, it's been, what, this will be the 8th episode, so I expect another, who knows, 16 episodes eventually. Um, got some more stuff coming, not Mario Kart related at all. Got some Wii Sports that I have to record still. Got some uh, other games that I don't want to spoil yet, but some fun stuff that I think I'll enjoy playing a lot and you guys will probably enjoy watching. Um, PC and Nintendo games alike. So that's all I got for you. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Helps the channel out a lot. Share it with your friends. Do whatever you want. Uh, go check out some other videos of Mario Kart if this is your first one watching it. Go check out the My Promise video. Um, that explains where the channel's going. Past, present, future of the channel. Why I left. Everything that you need to know. Um, and if you like everything that I've uh, posted so far, go ahead and subscribe. Because uh, there's more of that where that came from. So, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.